You know, many would say that 10 millimeter is the best millimeter, and I would probably agree. Today we have the Rock Island TAC Ultra. This is the double stack. This is a 1911 style pistol. Of course, double stack, what would you call that? A 2011? They have checked off some pretty good lists with this. 16 rounds of the best 10 millimeter is a pretty tall order to fetch, and this thing fits it. So I'm going to be playing with it and its brother because I think that most reviews are done best with a sample size of two. Because, you know, every once in a while you might get a turd or you might get one that outshines better than the other. Well, I have two here that are about a thousand apart on the serial numbers. So we've got one that was shipped in February and one that was recently shipped. So let's go ahead and shoot these things, play with them, and have a little fun. So as stated, I have two of these, and I know you're going to want me to dual wield them, and it's probably not going to happen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Are you ready? Dual wield. Let's get on with the rest of the video. So we'll take a close look at this thing. I'll give you some specs, and then we'll get started shooting. We've got G10 grips. Very nice mag well. Of course, this thing is double stacked, so she is thick. I swear, when you go to open the box, you'd, you'd swear it would be like one of the old Hallmark cards when you open it up and it plays music. When you open this thing up and you see how thick this thing is, I swear you want to hear Fat Bottom Girls or Baby Got Back. Could you just imagine that? Baby Got Back. <laughs> but anyway, so we've got an adjustable rear sight, a fiber optic front sight, I do like that fiber optic front sight. And of course, my favorite feature is the fact that it's 10 millimeter and it's threaded. Now, on the website, it does not say what threads they are. Just kind of had to wait for both of them to come in and find out that it is 578 by 28, which is your, most of your standard 1911 and 45 ACP stuff. Got a full length rail on it. They say four to six pound trigger. Yeah, I guarantee it is. Got an ambi safety. Of course, your beaver tail. It's a pretty decent pistol. Parkerized finish. And of course, having a sample size of two, they're both pretty well put together. The fit and the finish is the same on both of them. Seeing as they are Rock Island, I have already burned two boxes a piece of the 180 grain arms core. I figure, you know, parent company, this is probably what they've most extensively tested it with. And of course, I had a box of the PPU. I split this right down the middle of them. This is a 170 grain, so it was 25 a piece. And now we're getting into the PMC. And just for reference purposes, we're going to call the earlier one, we're going to call this one Thing 1, and the other one Thing 2. And now, I figure we'll go ahead and start burning some PMC. I got some PMC 200 grain, should be a little bit hotter, and uh, two pieces of steel up on the heel, so let's go ahead and start plinking with it. So we'll start off with a side view, that way you can see the recoil impulse, watch it cycle, watch it work. Definitely not that bad, considering we're slinging 200 grain chunks of lead downrange. Let's run some of this Buffalo Boar Heavy Outdoorsman. This is a 220 grain hard cast at 1200 feet per second. Let's do this for Alaskan Ballistic, Chuk Outdoors, and John Fazer, those Alaskan boys.
gummit that's got some power. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and suppress this. We got the Silencer Co. Octane 45. Of course, I did say it was a 0 .578 by 28 adapter. Let's go ahead and finish this out. I'm sure the neighbors are going to be glad to hear me put a suppressor on this thing. I have been booming all day. Boom. Boom. Shoot, boy. The dirt flies. <laughs> Well, it's not a suppressor day, unless you're wearing junk on your face. <laughs> All right, so my range day thoughts and evaluation. Now, thing one was on loan to me from Josh, so everybody tell Josh thank you. Thing two, this one was on loan from David, so everybody tell David thank you. Now, they come with one magazine apiece from the factory. David's was brand new out of the box with the factory magazine, and Josh's had the factory magazine and two of the paras. You can actually take the para double stack and swap the base plate and retrofit them to work. So I had four magazines. Now, as for thing two, straight out of the box with this magazine, you wouldn't have liked the gun. I really wish that I'd have had those first shots on film. You'd have seen it. I just retired this magazine really quickly because it was just aggravating and it was a waste of ammo for me. So I went ahead and set this one aside. Now as for thing one, one of the paramags that Josh had done, this one right here with that silver rub on the front, this one wasn't very fun at all. Now I was seeing online and hearing that there is a break-in period for the magazines and I could kind of see that I guess. But now the guns, thing one and thing two, as long as I ran the other two mags that Josh had sent with me, now these things ran flawlessly. So what that tells me is you've kind of got a, I guess a 50% chance of getting a magazine that won't make you happy. But with the right magazine, these things just hum. It was the power of a 10 millimeter. I mean, they feel great. They're heavy, they're solid. You're throwing big old fireballs and sending big heavy chunks of lead down range. They feel great. I mean, yeah, they're big booty Judy's, but they feel great. They shoot great, shoot nice and flat. I ran a little bit of an assortment of ammo, shot it suppressed, and I had a blast. I mean, today has been a ton of fun. So would I recommend this? Yes. Now you're gonna have to keep your, my personal experience, you're gonna have to keep your magazines watched over. That's just the only thing. But yeah, as for all of the controls, the trigger, everything, I give it an A+. The sights are awesome. It's all good stuff. Enjoyed them thoroughly. Just like I said, watch your magazines. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider subscribing. I have a Patreon account that helps pay for ammo, and I really do appreciate the guys that are helping me out over there. But the first and foremost, the most important thing is I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy, and we'll see you next video. The guns feel like a daggum tank. Of course, Big Booty Judy, this thing's thick.